Hello, um, well you can probably guess who this is from, another parcel from Stainy. Um, this is probably the most expensive parcel I've ever had from him, just so people know. And that's probably why. Yeah, just let that sink in for a second. Yeah, um, a communal. Yeah. Italius Parinensis. You know what that is, I'm not going to say. Don't know what that is, thinking, I don't know his tarantula, it's a scorpion. Yeah, I do like my scorpions, and that's captured bread. Oh, um, Oxalotl Diamantinensis, whatever. Oh, Brachypelma Amelia. No LD. Cipres Molesse. Hmm. Not too sure on that one. Not too sure. Hmm. I haven't asked about that one. Can't remember. S. Longestellus. This is very, very, very rare. Like, very stupidly rare. Um, by the way. Some of these will be in temporary enclosures because I've not got many enclosures left. Um, I will explain which ones so you don't think I'm housing them wrong. Okay. Fixed Palm Peruvians. As usual, all this is captive bread. I'm trying to remember what that is. P.B. Should be all. Oh, no. This is why I always check. OD. Another OD Mentalensis. <clears throat> I'll have a double check, I'll put it all out. And then I'll check what this is. Alright, back in a sec. I remembered. This is an absolutely awesome species, cheapest I've ever seen it. This is for Mictopus species blue. So yeah, look forward to seeing that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna sort this out. The only ones that are probably gonna be getting temporary is S long long stylus T Peruvians and the Ambalfores. Rest I should be able to house up. The H spinifer might be getting a bit a tiny bit small. But yeah, rest room should be okay. Okay, um I'll try and sort these out. Back in a second. That's a baby H spinifer. Um just thought I'd show you this, I'll easily be able to house this up. Um these get a tiny bit smaller than my H pizza. So yeah, that's pretty pretty awesome. This will be probably second, third malt. If I had an educated guess. Don't know how long scorpions take to grow, um because I don't think my Species Greece or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever that is. I don't know if that's fully grown. Because I bought it as a juve. And that's never malted. So I don't know if scorpions are super slow growers or what. So yeah, it's going to be awesome to grow that on. Hopefully I'll do okay. It's a heterometer species. So they're pretty much tanks anyway. So I should be sound. So yeah, this should be fun. Alright, if I see anything cool, well, I'm obviously going to see something cool, I'll show you before I house them up. Alright, back in a sec. Usually what I do to see how I house them is I take the piece of tissue off. But I am dreading this, I will be honest with you. They look awesome now. They're all healthy, one's fatter than the others, but... <laughs> what can you expect? Yeah, so yeah, this is going to be communal. And hopefully... It'll be like two females in the in the mature male, because I'll get loads of babies, and then it'll be like fifty million 
exaggerating a bit. Loads. <laughs> Just so you can see this. H spinifers proper active, which is good. Really good to see. Um, so yeah, just wandering around. They're quite um, as long as it's some material they can climb, like tissue or bark. They're quite confident climbers, just so people can know. It's not good to have them climbing, but that I'm just saying that will be safe. It's only that much. Also, I looked at the tea Peruvians. I'm very confused. I'm going to try and house it up. Um, it w that will be one of them that the enclosure won't be too good. It'll probably get put in the pot it's already in. Um, not very good housing, but I will get it a good enclosure. Um, the only thing I'm confused about is I thought they were green. Uh, it could be in heavy primo or its carapace could be green and the rest of it is darker and it's in pre-malt. But I'll have a look. Alright, I'm going to look at the S on this stylus and sort all these things out. Alright, back in a sec. This will probably be the last one I'll show you, but this is quite funny. I took the tissue off and it started like a scar, uh, like... Do you know like in old cartoons where um, someone has run on the spot? It was like that, it just like ran on the spot and just didn't go anywhere. That was quite funny. But yeah, this is really, really rare. That one I'll be able to house up fine. It's just the tea Peruvians, it'll be temporarily enclosed and something. And by four, I don't know where I'm going to put them in. I might put them in that tub or... Which is going to be really awkward. <sighs> At feeding time. To my knowledge, Gen Bar 4 is aren't too, too bad um, compared to other baboons. I know a lot of people actually advise them as your first baboon. Um, I don't know personally. I've never kept them. So, yeah. I know a lot of people who advise these and stout legs. But stout legs are rare-ass captive bred. You never see them and I want one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're going to sort all these out. Back in a sec. How I did that, I will never know. Oh my god, I just got lucky. They are stupidly fast. I had to get one off my bathroom ceiling, which is up there. Climbed all the way up there. So yeah, that was awesome. Not. Um, next time, these are definitely getting rehoused into an exo terry for a smaller and medium. And... I'm just going to leave them in there for ages, then they'll get put into a large. I'm dreading when these are adults, because um, that'll be fun. But yeah, if you spook one, they all seem to spook. But, if for people who don't know, people who think I'm fake. M. Balfouri, um are one of the best communal species. Um, they're just not fussed. I've seen mum's house with babies, I've seen like 20 adults. Um, that was a that was um, a cool picture, but yeah, I've seen all sorts. But yeah, they're all safe and in there. I'm just dreading everything. Um, feeding's gonna be a pain. Um, watering, same as feeding, it's gonna be a pain. And when I rehouse them, as you can see, they just walk over each other. They are not bothered. And they've got the blue coloration yet. They're only juvies. They're all seem to be different sizes. Um, don't know if they're from the same, I think they're from the same sack, but that one's the smallest. If they're from the same sack, that'll probably be a female. Um, that one's like a medium size, you can see more three of them. That's the biggest. And it's quite leggy, so I think that is a male. Just going by, I guess, is really, but I think them two are females. I'm hoping, pretty confident that one is. But yeah, they're little shits. So this just should be a good experience. Um, quite a big learning curve, definitely. So yeah, we'll leave them be and yeah. Just thought I'd show you. Um, I'll show you when we get the end. Um, as I've said, this isn't a permanent enclosure. I haven't got any. It's only temporary. All right, back in a sec. Just some advice. If you ever, don't, well, if you ever come across a tea, you don't know much about like. The Hermicta, uh, the one that I got off Martin Goss a couple of weeks ago, Hermiricus or something. Um, I found out that was close related to the Holofele. Very, very late I found that out. I'm um, glad I found it out though because it bolted. Um, I didn't know this one's, these bolt. Um, they get quite big to my knowledge. They get about, I think they're about bird eater size. And they are absolutely stupidly fast. It bolted, went under my wardrobe. So this is my wardrobe. 
bolted, went straight under there and sat at the back. Weird thing about this is it seems to like to play dead. By that what I mean is, it'll stand there, like scrunched up like it is now with its legs. I'll tap it, not move. Tap it again, not move. Tap it, it'll like pull its legs out and walk a tiny bit. And it just bolted. It literally just bolted. I've never seen anything this fast. And I keep Holofelli. I keep... Um, I've had running with a um, Firmichillus Lagarde? No, I ain't got Lagarde. Here I have. I don't know. But anyway, that spooked the hell out of me. It's chuffing dusty now. Um, but I'm going to try and house it up. Um, I'll move the um, Cirrocosmos into one of them tubs and I'm going to give this that. And my god! That is stupidly fast, it's female as well. So, but it's all safe. Just show you what to do when the tea runs off. Get it in a tub like this and just move it across until I can get it into the open. And you can see it's probably spooked and it is rapid, as Steeny said. So, yeah, some advice. If you're getting teas you don't know much about, ask the person you've got them off, because I can guarantee when they pack them, they realise how defensive or fast they are. Alright, back in a sec. This is the last one, by the way, I've housed up everything else. Back in a sec. Okay. And we'll go in order of me unpacking them. Sorry, I've got loads of live food and that around. Um, so, I unpacked the old Yefinensis first. One there. They are stupidly fast. Um, one is there. These are semi-arboreal. Um, to my knowledge, because they kept the same as GBBs, except smaller and a bit more humid. I think the semi-arboreal, I'm probably wrong, can't remember. Um, then we got the Amelia, hasn't got the carapace pattern yet, it's just at the back. No, I did the scorpion second. Um, this is um, Heterometrius spinifer, and it's just under there. This is actually first malt, so this is straight off the mum's back. That's why it's that size. Um, just house it up in that, that'll keep it for a good few malts. Um, easy to monitor as well. Uh, with scorpions, um, when you think about housing up teas, something like that size you'd house up in... Where is it? Where are my tubs? Something like that. With scorpions, um, you give them a lot more space. Because um, scorpions, compared to tarantulas, they are a lot, a lot more active. Um, they're out pretty much most of the time. Um, then we have um, the de Vit Vitalius paranensis. Um, really, really nice cheese. And um, bird eaters. That one's pretty calm, to be fair. Gave me no trouble. Um, what did I do next? To the Embalforis. Already webbing up a tiny bit, so yeah, three elm um, bar four is. Um, where are we next? Then the C Presmo Less here, and um, she's there. I rehouse this into this one, looks awesome. Frixapelma Peruvians, um, very, very heavy pre malt, and it's evil, kept slapping the tongs, absolutely crazy, crazy little thing. So, yeah, that's it. This one is a Femictopus species blue. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely, lovely teas. Um, cheapest I've ever seen them off Stainy. Um, and this one is a um, Stylisus Summit Longest Mill Summit. <laughs> Where's the thing? Uh, that's how you say the second one. Um, I think Stylopel. Um, somewhat weird. Really, really rare species. Um, don't know much about them, as I found out. They are quick. Quick as hell. It's one of the fastest teas I've ever dealt with. Probably the fastest. And that's saying something, because I keep Holfelli, uh, I keep Tappies, um, and even Tappy Slings are stupidly fast. So, yeah. Crazy. Oh, by the way, the thing I'm trying to say is pure, um, pure, oh, I can't even rem remember it. I'm not chuffing that one. I'm looking, it is bugging me. By the way, good review. This is because I'm trying to, what's it called? Pachina Chilis. 
and it is a Lagardi I've got. That one or the fast one. So yeah, stupidly fast. And um, this is probably the most expensive order I've ever had from Stainer. Some really, really rare stuff. And yeah, good review as always. I advise Stainer to everyone. Gets probably the best. You get some of the best stock in because some of these I've never seen anywhere else. Um, that, for example, never seen that way anywhere else. Um, cheapest oxylocal but dianensis, whatever, I can't say it. Cheapest one I've ever seen of them. For the Talius paranensis, you never see anything above two centimeter. And that was, well, that's even now. That's it. No, that's it. No. That's it. Yeah. So yeah, and that is the cheapest you'll ever see M Balfouris, and I think he's still got quite a few left. So yeah, M Balfouris, really, really cheap. So yeah, mad prices, and some mad teas. Okay, um, cheers for watching people, good review as always, and I will see you in a bit. I am shattered now. <laughs> see you in a bit people, bye.